A typical day of our research is actually going in the early morning hours when the sun is rising to search for the dolphins. And uh, normally if we see them on the way to a certain reef area where they actually come to sleep, to rest, we are taking uh, data about um, who is there, how is the group composition, how many females, males, calves. So for this we also take uh, photo IDs to identify them. If we have a good opportunity and the dolphins are stationary, we have the chance here to actually go into the water to observe them, what they do. We know from our data over 10 years that in this area we have 350 individuals and the most I actually also can recognize, especially when I'm in the water, some they come very close, they're always greeting, they always uh, are very curious. Other ones, they are more shy, so you even uh, get to know their personality, what makes it even more special. And um, you start to have kind of a relationship with uh, these species. For us, it's also very important that the dolphins are behaving natural. We want to follow them in their daily routine. When do they start to sleep? When do they play? We always try to not um, be that close, but of course, you also need to be one of them, be accepted. We think at night the dolphins are hunting in the open ocean, and during the daytime, they look for a protected reef where they can sleep, rest, socialize, and doing other behaviors. That's why it's so important for them to have a, a good uh, sleeping place for the daytime, to relax, to calm down, to meet other dolphins. It's a kind of a, a meeting place here as well. We have many boats here, uh, dozens of boats, people on board jumping on top of the dolphins. And uh, you can imagine, especially the dolphins coming here to sleep, it's quite um, distractive for them. It really affects their daily lifestyle, especially the sleeping hours, the mating behavior. So if there is uh, too much noise on the water, especially also boats and it can be a big threat if the tourism is not regulated. Right now, you cannot believe, but normally this place here is uh, very popular for dolphin tourism. So now it's actually very nice to see it's empty. There's not one single boat. So for the dolphins means they can calm down, they can relax in this area without any disturbance. And of course, it's also an opportunity for us as scientists to study them without any human uh, disturbance. Because what we were observing is that the dolphins actually also left the reef very early or they not even showed up anymore. We experienced um, a very interesting time now without any boats. Uh, the dolphins stayed quite long at these places. We could really get into deeper behavior, either in rubbing behavior or play behavior, sleeping behavior. They passed very close. It seems like they are really um, relaxed and comfortable. And now um, we have longer encounters and very good data actually to go deeper into their lifestyle again. Actually, this data is um, helping us to support the conservation part. 
The Corona time gives us an opportunity that we really should take care of all these reef sites and um, make a bigger effort to protect them and also to support responsible dolphin tourism so that the people still can see them without disturbing the dolphin population. The in the Pacific bottlenose dolphin, the ones we hope to see today, they're getting 50 years old and uh, a mature age of around 8 till 12 years. So it's very similar to us humans. We are very excited actually to maybe see a dolphin baby boom next year because when they come to this reef here, they not only sleep um, and rest here, they also socialize, mate a lot, especially in the later afternoon. And now we are very excited to uh, actually see the results next year to maybe see this uh, corona effect, a positive one. <laughs>